Good afternoon, Trailblazer fans. Welcome once again inside the TV studio. I'm your host, Assistant Athletic Director Jeff Polari, here on the verge of the MazCAC Volleyball Championships, joined alongside by MCLA head coach Amanda Beckwith. Coach, thanks for being with us today. Thanks for having us, Jeff. Very important, uh, pivotal matchup this past weekend down at Bridgewater State. Uh, both teams were assured a home game in the postseason. It was really a, a matchup of the winner gets the third seed, uh, loser gets the fourth seed. Talk about uh, how that match turned out, which ultimately was a 3-2 to two win for the Trailblazers. Um, it was a momentum flip back and forth. We started with momentum in set one. We took it quite easily handed. Unfortunately, set two, they took from us. Mm -hmm. Set three, we took it back. Four, they took it back. It was like there was a winning side. Then it came down to game five. We went point for point, and then thankfully we won with the 16-14 W. Great. And let's take a, with that, let's take a final look at the MazCAC standings. Um, overall, after the weekend, you can see Framingham State at 6-0, and uh, followed closely by Westfield State. And you can see MCLA coming in there at four and two. Pretty balanced league. Um, just what are your thoughts on the overall uh, league in general this past year? Um, it, it's a great league. You know, I'm really happy to be part of the MASCAC. Uh, Framingham did really well. They have a couple key players that really contributed for them. Uh, they beat everyone, even though they had uh, a challenge this weekend. Worcester gave them a run, um, went to a five-setter, but they still, you know, got the one seed. Uh, Westfield, uh, you know, did really well too, just losing to Framingham, and then they are the only two that we have lost to. Uh, so it's you know it's been a good cramp conference you know it's oddly been a 6 0 5 1 4 2 mm -hmm. from their down split yeah and you can see and you've already mentioned it let's take a look at the upcoming MazCAC volleyball bracket uh, complete with Framingham State being the number one seed in the conference tournament get, grabbing a first round bye to the semifinals along with Westfield State you can see there the Trailblazers as the third seed uh, will host Salem State and in the other quarterfinal matchup Bridgewater State will host Worcester State um, it's been a long time coach uh, since we saw Salem State uh, a couple of weeks ago um, down to Salem State a 3-0 victory for the Trailblazers take us back to that match in regards to what you saw what you liked and uh, what we hope to do uh, continuing with this week uh, at Salem we did really well with execution we stayed in system we served really hard we got the other team out of system uh, we set up solid blocks we had a lot of people contribute to our win and we passed really well and for us to get the W again that's what we need to do um, and it starts with you know multiple people stepping up and contributing and uh, really just leading us right from the start. Yeah, and uh, the winner of this matchup uh, Wednesday night will move on to face uh, Westfield State Saturday at 1 o'clock in one semifinal. You've already mentioned a couple of key players. I'm just going to roll through a couple of those and uh, give me your thoughts uh, on their season performance and what they'll need to do. Allison Clark, uh, who you've already mentioned once, has kind of been a do-it-all for MCLA offensively, defensively. She gets a lot of kills. She gets a lot of digs. Talk about uh, what she means to the program and what ultimately she'll have to do to be successful Wednesday night. Al has really angered our team this year. Uh, she's went, been one of multiple contributors. Uh, she's an offensive weapon, like you said. She's a defensive weapon. She wants the ball to her every time, but she's realized, you know, for the success of our program that we share the wealth and spread it around uh, because Allison's now two years in and people know what she's known for. Uh, but I'm so proud of her that she's worked so hard. She's super in shape. She's really healthy and uh, she's still finding ways to get you know new kills and new different ways yeah and another senior that's really stepped up uh, this past year had 10 kills over the weekend down at Bridgewater State is Sam Anderson um, she's been primarily used as a middle blocker uh, but she's been more aggressive of late on the outside getting some swings um, getting some kills and uh, also been on the defensive side talk a little bit about Sam Anderson what she'll have to do this week Sam is versatile she can contribute you know in the middle she can contribute in the outside she started the season um, in the middle you know because our other middles had to catch up and now we have we're deeper in that position so we can afford the opportunity for her to go outside but it also depends about the team we're playing and their system of play and if they're running a 5-1 or 6-2 system and where their strengths and weaknesses are because Sam Anderson is known for her block she's second um, in all-time uh, MCLA history for uh, blocks mm -hmm. and uh, we really want to put her where we need her so it's not always about the offense it's mostly about the defense where she gets placed awesome and certainly last but not least but Maggie Allen's also had uh, quite an impact on this season. The junior had, again, 10 kills uh, over the weekend at Bridgewater. Nice performance from her. What do you expect to see out of Maggie uh, this week? I expect big blocks and putting the ball down. She's a great tall right side hitter who, um, you know, most teams ride the arm of an outside hitter, and Maggie shuts those outside hitters down by having a big block, uh, whether it's a single block or a block assist. She works hard to, you know, set the block well, to put the ball down to give us another point and, you know, look for her to really shine again this Wednesday. We've talked at length uh, before the season, during 
during the season about how last year's success could, could hopefully help uh, this year. Um, let's look ahead to the tournament. How can last year's experiences get into the conference championship round help this year's team moving forward? Well, first got to get by uh, Salem, which I'm confident you know, we're going to work hard and do that. But then, you know, we get the back-to-back -back opportunity. The semi is the 1 o'clock. It's the second semi. When we win that, we play in the champ championship right after. Uh, last year, you know, it was great to be able to host it, but we found that we didn't really like the off game in between. It wasn't, um, you know, conducive to what we're used to and how we, you know, play best. Uh, but having had hosted the tournament gives us an opportunity to reflect and grow and and really learn from what happened last year and it's not new now so that anxiety of this is the first time in school history for us to host or be in a championship you know that's done now so we just need to go to work and get it done great and what is the one thing that you're looking forward to as a coach that MCLA has to get done to walk away with the victory Wednesday night at Salem State we have to serve challengingly and keep them out of system awesome if we advance uh, as I said we we would face off against Westfield State in one of the semifinals uh, the Owls uh, beat us here at home a couple of really tight sets they beat us three nothing it was a long time ago about seven weeks ago at this mm. point um, just looking ahead but what are some of the challenges that the other teams will bring forward uh, if we were to advance well I'm thankful that in a sense we just played Bridgewater because Bridgewater runs a fast middle and that's what Westfield beat us with you know in the beginning of September um, so we've seen that again uh, we're ready we're prepared for it and we're smarter and stronger ourselves we have some people back from injuries and we've just worked out our kinks and uh, West Westfield was the first conference game weeks ago. Uh, so happy to have that opportunity to face them, you know, after we defeat Salem on Wednesday. Awesome. Coach, I wish you the best of luck. Thank, Thank you. you for joining us here today. And fans, for everything MCLA Volleyball and the results uh, from Wednesday night's match, please log on to Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. I'm your host, Jeff Polari. Thank you all, and have a great day.